Okay, so like many of us, I work from home. I do a lot of my work from home, whether I'm doing investing or trading the markets or building the social network that we're currently building. Um, I do a lot of stuff from home. So broadband for me is paramount. So I have two sets of broadband. I have Virgin Media, uh, which is fiber, and that is, I think it's currently 500 meg down and about 40 meg up. It's been okay. The router itself is not the best. And as a backup, I had BT broadband, which was fiber, and I think that was 70 meg down and 20 meg up. Now between the two, BT is unrestricted. You can download and stream and upload as much as you want, and there will be no restrictions. They're not gonna suddenly cap you out just as Virgin do. Now Virgin do have this unlimited thing, but it can cost quite a bit of money. And that leads me to pricing on this and, and where we're going. So, BT um, charge, so the problem with BT at the moment, or was at the moment, uh, I have a phone that we just, I mean, I don't know if you guys have got a home phone, uh, hit me up in the comments, do you use it? I use my mobile predominantly all the time. I never use my home phone, nobody uses the home phone. Um, and unfortunately with the BT broadband, the Fiber 2 I believe it is, you have to have a phone. So you're paying for line rental, and you're paying for you know calls or whatever you might be doing, plus the broadband, which is kind of an expense you don't want. Virgin, on the other hand, they allow you to have the Virgin Fiber, but you don't have to have a phone because it's fiber to the property. Now, however, Virgin, unfortunately, they cap their broadband. So if you're streaming or downloading way too much, they put a block on it and it completely halves or whatever it is, slows right down. The other issue that I have with the Virgin is the router that they give you, this Netgear router, it's crap. I mean, I, you know, call me out if I'm wrong here, but it is really poor. You know, the signal is not great. So what I did, I went out and bought a Google Mesh system. Putting that in, connecting it to the router, which completely changed the game for me. The Google Mesh system has been brilliant, easy to set up, easy to configure, completely solved the problem. However, so then I get this call, I get a knock on the door. BT say, guess what? We've just put fiber free into your property. I'm like, ooh, fiber free, what's that then? So basically fiber free is complete fiber direct to the door rather than fiber to the cabinet and then twisted copper pair, twisted copper pair to the home. So I thought, well, okay, that's different. Don't need to have a phone either because it's fiber to the property. Ooh, okay. However, so I start thinking to myself, what does this benefit me? Where do I get the benefit from? Because I've got Virgin, I've got BT. So the BT line will just be updated. So instead of having the BT ball band or the Fiber 2, that obviously ceases to exist and we move to the Fiber 3. What they also do is they give you this little box um, and it gives you a backup on 4G. I think this 5G, but we'll say 4G. So should the ball band go down, you have a little Wi-Fi box that gives you 4G around the house. Really good, because it connects to all these extension disks. So I'm now thinking, okay, so for the 70 pounds now that I pay for the BT, I get two lots of broadband, so to speak. Um, however, they are guaranteeing me 450 meg to 500 meg, guaranteeing. Um, anything less than that, you get 100 pound cash back. You get priority with BT, so should anything go wrong, they are on it like flies on, <laughs> you know what I mean? And on top of that, you get this 5G or 4G extra bit that should it go down, you can continue working. So now I haven't got to pay this 60 odd pound or 70 pound, whatever it is I pay for Virgin Broadband. That now needs to go. Don't have to worry about that crappy router. However, BT are gonna come in and put these little disks in, but I've also got the Google Mesh. However, the BT engineer very politely came in, said to me, Steve, don't worry. Because I have things like Google Home, HomePods, that kind of stuff. These are lots of devices that are connecting to a particular network. And if you've only got one particular network, that's a lot of information for a particular router to handle. So having the Google Mesh and having my speakers um, and bits and pieces connecting to that, and then having the BT broadband for your phones and computers and things like that, the two can handle things differently and pass through and you can manage, you can manage the throughput. So it kind of made sense. So now I'm actually saving um, a majority, I'm saving over 50 pounds a month and getting much better broadband. 
Is it as fast as Virgin? Yeah, I'm, I'm noticing a lot quicker speeds um, at the moment. So what happens when they first install it, it takes 10 days for the whole thing to sync. Um, you just give the whole thing a bit of a reboot and boom, you're getting about 450 to 500 meg and that could go up to 900 to a gigabit. So it's, uh, it's really good. But the beauty of it, I mean, when I uploaded a video the other day, uh, last week's video, I had to do a double take because normally I upload a video and I kind of sit and wait and then you have to do all the bits and pieces when you're uploading the video. In no time at all, because of this is a 100 plus meg upload, the video was uploaded incredibly quick. I could get on with my day. It was so much better. Um, and as well, where I'm not being capped, that's another thing I noticed on Virgin, you know, when I was doing a lot of stuff with trading, investing, videos and things like that, I noticed, oh my God, that's gone really slow. I'd do a speed test and it had completely dropped. Um, and that's that cap that they do on Virgin. So I was kind of like, now it's not, it's just constant throughput. I must admit, take my hat off to BT, phenomenal. Uh, and so far, touch wood, it's been okay. Fiber free has been fantastic. And I like the fact that you now in the app, you can go and check the, the, you know, the whole house, how it's getting its, um, you know, with the discs planted around, and I've got the Google Mesh as well. Uh, so I've got all my stuff going through that. So everything is running smoothly, and I managed to save money. So if you can get fiber free in your area, and I know it's coming thick and fast, um, because we just got it, um, it, it is really worth getting. Uh, I just think it's a really good connection. And I know not a lot of you can get that, but um, it's made a huge difference. Uh, I didn't think it would, I thought, I'll just, well, I'm used to the 500 meg from Virgin, right? But um, I'm just noticing just connectivity issues. It, it just works. Even the, the router that BT use for me at the moment has been really, really good. The app that they've got for checking the broadband seems to work really well. Um, and uploading has just been an absolute breeze. I've noticed, you know, my little boy, he plays PlayStation um, and he said that the, the speed in which he now he's getting ping rates and, and stuff like that is really good. So thumbs up for me, BT. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I know other companies are doing fibers and, and doing these super fast ball bands. Uh, uh, but, you know, I, I've always said BT, you know, they kind of don't own the line, open reach, own the line, and they're kind of like now a section of it. But it's BT, right? BT or BT, you know? So they kind of run those lines. They know what they're doing rather than a third party person. I'm sure, hit me up in the comments. Who do you use your brew band? Do you use Virgin? How do you find the customer services? I know there's been a lot of complaints about Virgin customer services. BT as well, I'm sure BT customer services. But once you go to this fiber free stuff, it's a different level. And you know what? It's not breaking the bank as such. You know, it's yes, it can be a bit pricey at that 70 pound price mark, but for what you're getting, you know, you're getting that backup broadband. If you are working from home, you know, and you're not going into an office, it, um, it just is a big difference. You know, the kids are streaming Netflix and Prime and Apple TV and whatever. It, it, it's a really big difference. So that's all I've got to say on that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it's, it's helped you in some way. I don't know what ball band you've got. Make sure you hit me up in the comments below. And until the next time, everyone, take care.